In this video, we're going over how to mirror your Pixel 6a to your TV. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. In the video today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to mirror your Google Pixel 6a to your TV. Now, this is, uh, for example, if you're uh, wanting to show a video from your phone to the TV, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I'm gonna also show you how to mirror the entire screen. So for example, if you're playing a game and you're trying to show your gameplay on the TV or you're trying to show a video you took on your phone or pictures from a trip, onto your TV, I'll show you how to do that. I'm gonna demonstrate it in two separate methods. So the first method, we're gonna do directly mirroring everything you see, every movement on the TV. And in the second method, we're just gonna show sending the video from the phone to the TV. So for example, playing a Netflix, Hulu, YouTube video, how to do that. So let's jump into what you need first to make this work. So first, obviously you need a Pixel 6a, check there. Second, you will need Wi-Fi, uh, a home Wi-Fi network. And third, you will need a Chromecast. Now the Chromecast you will need specifically for the first method I'm gonna show you, which is wanting to mirror everything that's happening on the, on the screen to the TV. In the second method, you won't need a Chromecast. You can technically do this with a Chromecast, a Roku, a smart TV, and some Amazon Fire devices, okay? So that's basically what you need. Um, you're gonna wanna turn on your TV and make sure whatever device, so again, for the first method, we're gonna use the Chromecast, so make sure your Chromecast is plugged in. Make sure your phone is on Wi-Fi, so swipe down from the top. We're gonna tap on that internet button right there. Make sure our Wi-Fi is turned on and connected to a network. Make sure your Chromecast is also set up your TV is turned on, and make sure it is also on the same Wi-Fi network, okay? All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're going to swipe up. You'll have this app already pre-installed on your Pixel 6a, which is gonna be the Google Home app. It's just gonna say Home, tap on Home, tap Get Started. Now I'm already signed into a Google account, so it's just gonna see it, it's gonna check it, and I'm gonna hit OK. And then now um, it's going to show our devices on this screen, or let's see, but my device is down here, which is the Chromecast 6871. So I'm going to tap on that device. And at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the button that says cast my screen. So at this point, our phone is ready to go. And now I'm going to slide my phone over just like this. Tap the cast my screen button. And then we're gonna tap cast screen, start recording. And you should see right now that everything that's happening now on your phone screen is showing on the TV. Every movement you do will show up. And just as an example, if I opened up Candy Crush and I wanted to show my family, hey, here's my latest progress, guess what? I can open the game, I can play it, and it will all show up on the TV in real time as I'm doing it. Now, um, Candy Crush is a game that only works in the portrait mode, but for example, if you're in another app, for example, if you just wanted to show something that's on Google Chrome on the internet, you can just take the phone and rotate it, and it will rotate along with um, the phone. Now, obviously, when you rotate, you have to hit that little rotate button to make sure it rotates with you, and now you can see everything we're doing is showing up on the TV, and I'm just on the browser screen right now. So don't worry, it will uh, support landscape as well. Um, you can also play a video from this setup if you wanted to. Let's say you took a funny video and you wanted to just show it on your TV. You could simply swipe up, go to your photo gallery right here, and you could find that video and play it on the TV. Now, I don't love this first option because um, guess what? If you're showing the video, you won't be able to use the phone at the same time. Um, everything you do on the phone, remember, is gonna show on the TV. So let's stop the, the phone from mirroring, and I wanna show you that second method that is ideal if you're just trying to show uh, video clips from your phone to the TV, or you're trying to stream a video on an app on your phone to the TV. So swipe down from the top of the screen. You should see casting screen. 
show up right in your notification panel. You're gonna tap that green disconnect button and that will stop it from mirroring to the TV. You'll see your Chromecast is now back to just a wallpaper. Now I'm a uh, disclaimer, I'm using an older Chromecast and mine just has a wallpaper. If you purchased a Chromecast in the last year, they have apps and a lot of extra things on the screen. I just have an older one, so that's why you only see the wallpaper on the screen. Okay, so in the second method, I'm going to mirror a video from YouTube to the TV, okay? So let's tap on the YouTube icon. I already have a video that's queued up and I just want to show you what you need to look for to make this work from your device. So again, in the second method, you don't need to have a Chromecast. You can do this with a Roku. You can do it with a smart TV. Most smart TVs would be supported. Um, obviously the smart TV would need to be connected to Wi-Fi, so you still need Wi-Fi to do this. Um, and this will also work with select Fire Amazon Fire devices. Here's how you check to see if your device is supported. So I'm on the video, I'm looking for this icon, which is the cast icon. Now, guess what? Uh, Netflix, once you have the video up and ready to play, you'll also see that same cast icon. Same thing with Hulu, Amazon Prime, all those apps will have that same cast option. When you tap on it, it's gonna show you a list of devices that you can mirror your phone to, right? So. In this case, this is my Samsung Smart TV. Um, this is my Chromecast here. And because those are the only devices that are currently turned on, those are showing up. I also have a Smart TV downstairs, but it's not turned on, so it's not gonna show up in the list. So obviously make sure the device you're trying to mirror to is turned on to make sure it shows up on the list. I'm gonna tap on my um, monitor. And if we give it a second, my TV is gonna switch from the Chromecast over to just the smart TV, essentially, and it's gonna begin playing that video on the TV. So it takes a few seconds, um, but here it is. It's loaded, it's playing. Now I can control the volume from here if I wanna go volume up or volume down. And at this point, I can hit my home button and I can now do other things on the phone while this video is playing. So if I wanted to send a text message, if I wanted to call someone, I can do all those things while the video is playing. And that's why to me, this is the more ideal way to mirror, because I, I think most of you are just trying to mirror a video from your phone, not really mirror everything. You can also swipe down from the top of the screen. You can um, fast forward the video by dragging this little uh, bar here, a little dot, dragging it up and you can pause the video from here as well. So when you're all done, simply swipe down from the top of the screen, get to this screen, tap on it, and then find that same casting icon and tap on it, and then you can hit disconnect, and that will stop your video from mirroring to the TV. And now I'm just gonna hit the home button, and we can uh, remove the screen off the TV and go back to our phone, and that's it. So that is how you mirror your screen, your Pixel 6a to your TV. Those are a few different methods to do it. And um, if you follow the instructions in the video, it should be pretty straightforward. Hope you guys found this helpful. Hit the like button if it was helpful. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.